Mike, this is the UK debut of the Fringe Probe. Now, I saw this at Emo, um, got a lot of attention, didn't really know too much about it at the time. We're here at Advanced Engineering 2019. Tell me a little bit about the probe and how it works with the CMM. So, if you remember a couple of years ago, actually, we were at Advanced and we, we uh, were looking at the Surface Finish Probe, um, which was newly released. And at the time, we were talking about maximising the, um, the use of your CMM and get, getting more out of it. So um, we've released the Fringe Pro, which is our next kind of uh, evolution of, of sensor for, uh, for Revo. So the Fringe Pro uh, sits on the Revo platform and it's basically a, a, a structured light scanner for collecting point cloud data on features on, on the part. So is that just surface then? Fringe Pro is just surface, yeah. So it's, uh, it's looking at um, surface contour rather than prismatic features. So we're collecting prismatic feature measurement with our um, conventional probing uh, and then using the fringe probe to do almost like the parts in between the prismatic features. So surface, contours, uh, blend radii, things like that. And, and who would this actually appeal to? What are the type of customers you think that would be looking at the fringe probe? So there's really two, two sets of, uh, of applications that this is going to be attractive for, really. There's the people that want to look at um, curves and surfaces, so intricate detail on parts. So say, if you think about additive parts and all the shapes that you can get on additive parts. So look at the, the contour and compare that to the CAD. Uh, and there's, other, um, there's another application for reverse engineering. So, but, uh, so in the repair and overhaul, for example, where you actually want to um, you want to see what you've got first without having a CAD model, so you can use a fringe for reverse engineering. And does it scan other materials like composite, for example? Yeah, um, yeah, any material. Um, it's it's a white light scanner, so basically you can uh, any material that you have to watch carbon fibre because there's a resin, so that you know the, the the light can sink into the resin. So you just have to be aware of that. Um, and obviously shiny parts, you have to have a look at a kind of reflection, but on the whole, um, yeah, most, most parts we can, we can scan um, with the French probe, yeah. I'm going to test you now, because there is a number of different scanners, handheld scanners, yeah. that could do the job. I know they need uh, target spots. What's the advantage by having it on the CMM? So the difference with having the fringe probe on the CMM, other than handheld uh, scanning systems, is that they, you're using the machine's reference um, to, uh, as the reference for the fringe probe. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to put targets on the part. So it's a, putting targets on, on parts is a manual operation, quite time consuming. So with, with, because we're using the CMM, we don't have to do that. We've already got the, the alignment of the part and the reference for each patch that we're scanning. And this is the, um, the first uh, scanner that you've actually had for a CMM? It's the first uh, white light scanner, yes, yeah, that, um, that we're, Renshaw has, has introduced, obviously, on the Revo platform, yeah. And a bit of a game changer if you're look, looking to get or optimise your, your CMM, is, is that really where it's at? Yeah, that's it. it again, like I say, it, it's about getting the most use out of the, your investment in a CMM. Uh, so we've got the contact probe, we've got surface finish, we've got the vision probe, and now we've got the fringe probe. All on one platform, all can be programmed from one piece of software using one piece of equipment. So it's all about maxing, maximising the benefits of, of what you've got. So one-stop shop from Renishaw then? Yep, exactly that, yeah. yeah.